You may be aware of a very grim news story. Uh, last week in London, a man was killed by two other men. They ran him over in a car. Um, road accidents happen quite often, of course. That's not news, but this was big news because after running him over, these two men got out of the car and using machetes, they hacked him to death. It was a quite deliberate murder. They then behaved very unusually. They then hung around until the police turned up and then they attacked the police who were armed and they got shot and hospitalized and they're now uh, they've both been arrested and they will stand trial and of course the media went berserk with this and there were loads and uh, loads of news reports and articles about these men and a lot of these news reports called them evil a lot of politicians making speeches about these men called them evil and i think that that's actually a very bad idea. I think that every time we call these men evil, we actually do terrorism a, a service. You see, there's a sort of cachet to evil. Evil is cool. The devil has cool horns. Um, and if someone is calling you evil and you don't like that person, you might think to yourself, ha, I'm really getting to him. I must be onto something here. He's calling me evil. Aha, it's working, whatever it is, this thing I'm doing. Um, but the thing is that terrorism doesn't work. Now, some people say, ah, oh, one man's freedom fighter is another man's terrorist. Well, yes, to, to some degree that's true, but freedom fighters who have actually succeeded, have actually replaced a government and uh, you know, overthrown a tyranny or, or whatever, um, they have not just put nail bombs in a marketplace in order to kill loads of innocent civilians and in order to inflict misery on people, and that's it. Um, they've, they've fought a war where they have objectives that might actually logically progress to their achieving their goal. You, uh, you, you have a front line, you, you take this bridge, you take this fuel dump so that you can then later go on and attack the government in the capital city or whatever. That's being a freedom fighter. Sticking a nail bomb in a rubbish bin uh, and, and killing loads of women and children, that's being a terrorist. And I'm unaware that any bombing campaign, any terrorism campaign, has anywhere ever actually achieved its stated aims. Um, if you blow up a bus in London, the Londoners don't go, oh, well, they've blown up a bus, I suppose we'd better give in to them. Well, no. One, because um, London's a very big place and it was just one bus and most people didn't know someone on that bus and there's just a certain momentum of a very large society, it will carry on. But also, damn it! No, we, you know, Londoners will harden against these terrorists. They're not going to let them win. When the Luftwaffe bombed the East End, the East Enders didn't, weren't lobbying the British government. Oh, Mr. Churchill, Mr. Churchill, please give in. They're bombing us. No, they, they steeled themselves. and they went, Right, Mr. Hitler, if you think you're having Britain without a fight, you've got another thing coming. And they redoubled their efforts in the war. Bombing campaigns, terrorism, just don't work. So instead of calling these people evil, um, why don't we just call them stupid? Wouldn't that be more effective? Because these two guys who murdered someone in the street, if they thought that what they were going to do was going to start a war in London tonight and, and overthrow a government, they were really sadly deluded. That was never going to happen. Um, if they thought that this act of terrorism would be effective in the way that presumably someone had gulled them into believing, then they were idiots and we should just say so because being an idiot is not cool. I long for the day when a, a policeman being interviewed on television says uh, we're looking for two suspects uh, in their late 20s, they're described as medium height and they're very stupid. Yeah, calling these people stupid and ineffectual, drawing attention to the fact that they are patsies, they have been duped into carrying out some plan that ultimately only benefits the mastermind behind it, who just wants a bit of glory and power for himself. These people are idiots. Let's call them idiots. <laughs>